what's up? This is actually my first unboxing ever, so I'm actually really pumped, really excited, and I thought, what better way to do an unboxing is if I just go all out and get the biggest, most expensive thing. Actually, I didn't get the biggest, but I did get something that's pretty, uh, pretty expensive. And so I want to, to share this with you guys. I'm sure you guys already know all the specs into what I'm about to unbox. So with that, let's just get into it, man. I'm excited. <clears throat> oh. This sucker is super heavy. It's about 10, 15 pounds. I'm not too, sh too sure. Um, all I know is I didn't think that what I ordered was this heavy. So we'll see. Here we go. So far, so good with the cutting. Not a pro, obviously. I don't, I don't do this a lot, like, like people I see on YouTube. Okay. Everyone, everyone likes some good bubble wrap. But in this box is the one thing that's going to change the way that I do videos, videography. Even videos like this, uh, I'm not a big blogger, but I'm a big, um, I'm a big time uh, make it your own kind of movie camera kind of thing. Just documenting different types in my life and things like that. So um, this is going to change, change the way I do that. And so let's see what it is. Ugh. That's not the side. I did it. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. So this is, for all of you guys who already know, this is the Canon 1DX Mark II. Now this, this camera's gotten some pretty big, made some pretty big waves on YouTube and uh, made some pretty big waves um, just about with any videographer or, or photographer that want both videography and photography. Um, I just did it, I bought it, I didn't even really think about it. I'm like, you know what, I'll just, I'll pay the money back or what, however I gotta do to get this camera. Um, right now I'm shooting on the 80D, um, which is cool, it's awesome, but it doesn't shoot 4K, it only goes up to 60 frames a second, um, which kinda, kinda stinks. And then I got this puppy too. Now, you guys will be like, what the heck, why doesn't it come in a legit box? Well. We're gonna go go through that actually. So um, I'll open this last, and then we'll open this. Okay, blah blah blah. Is, does anyone ever read these books? I mean, they give you. I mean, look how much paper that is. I mean, for those of you who freak out about paper this, paper that. I mean, that's a lot of paper. And guess what? I'm gonna throw that away. I don't even care. CDs. I don't even have a CD player. Um. Another, oh, it just shows you how to actually use your camera. I've seen so many YouTube tutorials that I already know how to use it, actually. Um, camera strap, super cool. Um, it doesn't say 1DX on it, though. It just says Canon, and it's like gold or something. Whatever. Um, the viewfinder, that's a must. This, I always shoot, I try to use the viewfinder as much as I can. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh, guys. This is the biggest thing I've ever held in my hand. That's a camera. Um, and I want to make sure my, I got these brand new, oh, whoo, I almost broke my camera. This is like a brand new table and I don't want to scratch it by some stupid box that was in the mail. Let's go through all of this stuff. Ooh, look at this charger, nice. I love the way like new things smell all the time. So dual dual chargers. Uh, that's only I need a dual battery. Once I get a dual battery, cords. Not sure what that one's for. Probably for the charger, but this one I'm not super sure. I, I, I don't know. And then the battery. That's that's got some weight on it. It's got some real weight on that. Um, bigger than obviously a regular Canon. Uh, ADD battery, but hey, that's fine. That just hopefully that means longer battery, um, you know, with the exceptions to running 4K and all that. So uh, let's get into the box. 
body, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. So let's check it out. Oh my. Ugh. So, first impressions this camera is heavy. Like, when I first got my ADD, everyone's like, man, dude, your camera's gonna be a little bit heavier than most. Um, but, dude, this is probably like, I wanna say, like, a good seven pounds. You ever hold like a five pound weight? Like, oh, it's a little heavy. But it's proportional. This is just right in your face heavy. So, yikes. But look at that. Look at that. Yes, let's even get that to focus. Oh, man, that just looks. Why isn't it focusing? Weird. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. I only did that because it's on face tracking mode, and I'm not sure why it's still tra not being able to. That's why, because on face tracking mode. Psh, you don't even know how to use your camera is, is the main thing. Anyways, anyways. Um, but this this thing is awesome. Um, huge, heavy, but shoots in 4K, 60 frames a second, man. That's awesome. And 120 frames in 1080. Um, the only downfall is if you're in 1080, um, I think it crops it just a bit uh, at 120 frames. But then in addition to that, it cuts out all the audio. So I don't know why you would need the audio in the first place unless you're trying to do like a little woo kind of thing. But I mean, I, don't, I, I think that's very few and far between. So I don't even think you have to really worry about that. Um, and this, I'm not, I'm not so sure why they sent me this box. Um, I, I mean, I ordered it. <coughs> That's something you never see in a box. That's how you know this is real. No one ever sneezes in there. So that's how you know it's real. But I'm kind of kind of disappointed a little bit just because they were supposed to give me a legit box. But what I ordered is just as cool as the camera. So see if you can, can you see that? Any guesses? Any guesses before? Comment on this timestamp right here. There we go. It's a Canon. 24 to 7 or 24 to 105 milliliter milliliter millimeter L series lens mark 2. So this thing is stupid heavy just like the camera. Um but man this thing is awesome. That's why I'm like what the heck? Where's the freaking box that it came it's supposed to come with, right? L series lens, L series box. I mean, who cares? No one's going to really use a box, but it's just it's cool to have. I have a big thing in my closet um, of all the stuff that I bought, you know, whether it be my DJI Ronin um, gimbal or a drone or my cameras, lenses, you know, stuff like that. So it um, comes with a cool hood scoop, obviously. I mean, well, actually, my, my 50, 50 millimeter didn't come with one, so I don't know why. But, um, but yeah, I guess, that's, I guess that's fine. I really don't need it, but brand new lens. I know I'm probably super weird for smelling everything, but this thing is awesome. I've seen so many good reviews on it, and the fact that it's a Mark II as opposed to the original one, which would have just been the first one, is just amazing to me. Um, image, image stabilized, and because uh, I think there are some that aren't stabilized, image stabilized, which is kind of dumb in my opinion. I think Canon's just trying to work the people just off the L series lenses. I mean, it's already an expensive lens, but then you're not going to stabilize it. like. Even the basic cameras, like this one right here, is a 10 to 18 milliliter. Millimeter. I keep saying milliliter. What the, the heck? We're not measuring freaking fluid. But even this one, it's image stabilized. How much was it? It was like $300 lens. So, I mean, this one, this one's like eight, eight, $900 lens, and it has to be stabilized. But the one below this is, I don't think it is. I don't, I don't think it is. And so that's just, that's just dumb to me. So let's get this on. Dude, this is so cool. This is like the coolest thing ever, man. I'm so pumped. Red to red. That's what those means. Those little red dots. I just learned that. And I was just like trying to figure out how to put my stupid lens on for like a year. So, oh my gosh, dude. This is the coolest setup. But guess what? It's literally 10 pounds in my hand. 10 pounds. Oh, I actually bought, um, hang on, hang on real quick. I actually bought, 
um, I, I had to buy a CFast car too or whatever, something, something stupid. I mean, it was like ridiculously priced because I guess you need faster write speeds for 4K or something. I don't, I really don't know. But I had to buy this CFast card and I don't know why. I should have put it on FaceTime tracking. I'm sorry. Um, but this one is probably the, the best one that I've ever seen. It's made by uh, Ego Disc Pro. And typically you would pay, I don't know, $500 for a 128 gigabyte one or something stupid. Well, this one's 300 for a 256 gigabyte SD, uh, F, S, I can, I'm going to get caught up in this. C fast card. So if you want to know where I bought it, check the uh, description below. Um, and I can send you on to where I bought that, um, which is super, super cool. I don't know, to be honest, I don't even know how to open this door. Yikes, I might even have to watch a couple extra tutorials, man. I don't even know. So the door handle hangs like, what? I don't know. I'll have to come back. I'll have to come back. Stay tuned for more of my actual videos that I'm actually using the Canon 1DX Mark II. Deuce.